All right, this is activity 2.4, number five. Again, a multi-view drawing. All right, we want to start with our front view, just like before. So we're gonna look at our, our drawing from this direction, again, as our front. So we want to check our width and our height. Okay, our width, if we're looking across this direction, we can count this is four, and this is also four. So this is eight total in our width. Our height, we know from this side is four, but this one goes up one more, so we have an overall height of five. Okay, so we'll start with our drawing, with our little box, we have five tall and eight wide to start with. Remember, these are construction lines at first. So again, eight across, five tall. So from here, we can see that we have um, an object, this bottom bar, which is too tall, that spans across the entire object, even though it's at an angle, and when we see it from this side, it's going to be this entire bottom section. So we're going to darken this bottom portion all the way across the bottom, up to, and all the way across the section of this object. So it goes across like this, okay? Then when we look up here, we see we have, it's two above this for four, and then goes up to be three. So we have it's two for four of them. So that's across here, and it goes up until it's three for the rest. So we can darken this shape across here. So let's darken these edges. These are our object lines again. Right, all the way across this portion of the top and then all the way down back to that portion of the object. So we're not quite done with our front yet because we still see this slanted angle right here. But again from our front we don't see it as an angle, we just see it as a flat rectangle which is two across and from this angle up to the top. So it'll be two across from here up to here. So that would just be right here. All right, just like this. Now this is our front. Remember, these don't get darkened. These are not part of our object. These are just construction lines. Okay, now we want to work on our top. So again, our top is going at it from this direction, but it needs to be in line with our front. So we're gonna bring our lines up to make sure that we are in line with our front view. So these are construction lines, nice and light. Remember, if you don't have that much room, you can have a block in between. Um, but if you do have the space, usually three, four, five blocks in between will be best. So we know that the width is still eight. Oops. So we'll draw our first line, eight across. And our depth, this one is harder to tell for this object. So our depth, our entire depth is going to be from this corner back across to wherever our imaginary corner would be. So we need to bring this down to meet this line that we've created. So it's gonna be at this point. So now we wanna count, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, or you could count it, this is two. We know this keeps going two more, and this is two more. So this is six in our depth. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we do that for construction lines for our top view. So six by eight. When we look down, we see we see these two rectangles. They're two by four at the top edge. So we're gonna go darken this edge up here, all the way across, down two, all the way across again, all right, and then back up. Okay, but we did say it was two rectangles of four, so this is one, two, three, four. We'll split this in half. Okay, so again, from the top now, we're trying to look at the rest of the shape. So we know that it goes the entire depth on this left side, but it stays at the end of where this two was for our right-hand side. So this point would connect all the way to the end of this side. So we can darken down here 
this nice and thick object line, and then these two points will connect. Okay, and then we can darken this angle. So we darken all the way across, just like this. All right, but again, we're not quite done because we still see this surface right here. But in this case, it won't look, last time it was three tall and two across. Now when we are looking down at it, it's two this direction and two in this direction. So it's gonna wind up looking like a square. So from this edge, so this piece right here, we're gonna come two across, two down, and over. So it's this square right here. We wanna darken these again, nice dark object lines for that two by two square. All right, and that is the finish for our top view. Now we need our right-hand side. So for our right-hand side, just like before, we need to draw our construction lines across from our front, so from the top edge, not down here from your front, across. Again, it could be one, could be four, up to how much space you have. All right, we're looking at this direction here. We know again that the depth is the same as we had it vertically for here, so it's six, and our height still is five. So we'll have our height of five, our depth of six. Okay, so from here, we have a couple options. We can bring some of our lines across from our front, but we do actually want to use some of the lines from our top. So just like we did for number four, we're going to bring construction lines up and over to be able to use some of the lines we've done from our top in the construction of our right hand side. So we're just doing construction lines straight up and straight over. So both of these should be six, which gives us a square right here. So we can do our 45 degree angle corner to corner for each of these. And now we can bring some of these lines over and down for what we need. So we're gonna bring this back edge over to our diagonal, and it turns 90 degrees and comes down to meet this side. So we're going to draw in this rectangle on the right, okay, just like this, okay? But if we notice, if you look at it from this edge, we see one rectangle and we see a second one. This one we used from the front. So we can bring our line across and we draw in that edge right there, okay? Showing the difference between these two pieces. All right, now we know we have this edge, which was two up. We can bring it from our front view, bring this over. It's the entire depth, so it's gonna be this whole rectangle right here. So we're gonna darken this whole piece, okay, just like this. And then what we have left is our triangle. So we know the triangle is the entire height. That's what it shows over here. We know it starts where this one is, and we know it ends where we have over here. What we can do again, we can bring this over to your diagonal. Where it hits the diagonal, you bring it down. So it'll end here. So we know it's gonna be between this point and this point up here. So we're gonna draw that line and then we're gonna darken it for our object line. And this is our completed 2.4 number five.